what I normally do whenever I want to lay my sides I just tie a scarf like for about five or ten minutes and as you can see my sides are laid 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 to the gods <laughs> good morning guys how are you all doing I told you I'm gonna try and be more consistent with my videos so here we go I'm hoping at least I can get to one video per week at least one video per week yeah so far so good anyway I'm doing a quick um, salon run I want to go and fix my nails as you can see my nails are looking kinda crappy these are my own natural nails and what I normally do is I get uh, overlays it's called overlays on natural nails so uh, it's like a gelish product that you apply on top of your natural nails and what the, the the product is supposed to do is help them grow and also strengthen them to prevent breakage so it's been about I think five months since I started doing overlays and guys what my nails <laughs> like I think this okay this is not the longest my nails I've ever been they've been longer than this um what was it like about last month they were longer than this and then i had them i had to trim them because eh, 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 handling um natural hair when you have long nails is so 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 hard and trust me guys it's like the best thing i've ever done for my nails uh it's not like my nails were weak before uh, my nails were okay they were strong but then i never used to retain length they always used to break at some point because you know a girl gotta do the dishes <laughs> so nowadays whenever i'm handling water okay not handling water whenever i'm doing like house chores like cleaning uh dishes washing furias i always wear house gloves but apart from that my nails are still able to um retain the length and stay strong so Jackie, she owns this nail parlor. Do you remember how you met? <laughs> Do you remember how you met? <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's very camera shy. Very. We met in 20, was it 12? We met in 2012 or 2011 at a hair salon when I was still relaxed, guys. And I remember Jackie was like, oh, by the way, I'm opening, I'm planning to open a, a nail parlor soon. Will you come and uh, support? <laughs> what? And it's years. been how many years now? Here we are. Here we are. Home. Finally. Yeah. And you're doing such a good job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I woke up reflecting on something very important. I was just thinking about my friend um, Jackie who owns the nail parlor shop and I just remember how she was super excited with this idea when she came up with the idea a few years ago when she told me about it and look at her shop right now, look at her parlor right now, like it's doing so well and she's about to open the second branch. So this just got me thinking about um, how people sometimes slack on their dreams I mean not in a bad way but you have this amazing idea but then you have obstacles and you're thinking I will never be able to achieve it or this is not good enough for me or life has been unfair to me or it's going to take so long for me to accomplish but there is never a perfect moment or a right time to chase your dreams I mean I know myself I've been slacking on a few things that I needed to do for myself and it just got me thinking that life is too short and um, even if you have obstacles in front of you or ahead of you like I know it's easier said than done and I know um, I'm, I'm going to be encountering a few bumps on the road but there's never a good time to start so just do it I know I'm just blabbering I'm talking too much but that's just what I've been thinking since I woke up this morning and uh, it's time for me to plan ahead and not to lose hope in the goals that I had previously set. 
for myself so yeah apart from that today is a really really exciting day we are having our meet and greet when i say we i mean the girlfriend diary squad <laughs> and if you don't know who the rest of the squad is it's myself uh nancy moi and mandy miss mandy so today's pretty much exciting we are going to big square at the junction mall and we'll be there from 4 pm i really can't wait to hang out with the ladies and uh, and you guys because we've never really done a meet and greet the three of us it's always like by ourselves so this is going to be so much fun it's gonna be a good day Alright, so I'm getting ready for the meetup and this is how my hair is looking like after taking down the scarf So I want to create like a full bun. I have a few pieces of money hair. This is about one pack of money hair um, All I'm going to do is I'll take like a hair band and then I will just wrap it around the money hair like so So, like this and then I'll just take this band and attach it to my ponytail okay since I'm going for like a messy type of bun I'll just separate the two strands like so and then I'll take one piece and then I'll roll it round so I'm just rolling it round and then I'll use a bobby pin use a bobby pin to secure it then I'll take the other strand and also roll it round so yeah nothing fancy at all uh, I'm just gonna add a few more strands These are like maybe five strands like that and then I'll just roll All the way around So I'll just roll all the way around As you can see nothing fancy at all and now we have a cute bun and Time for me to do my makeup so i quickly wanted to show you guys the foundation that i've been using most of you have been asking um this is it right here focus 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 <laughs> it's the cut bondi locket foundation so i usually go for this foundation when i'm looking for like a full coverage finish let me show you this is how it's a bit dark but after i finish blending it it's completely blends in with my skin so on days when i don't want to achieve like a full coverage face i use either the estee lauder double wear foundation or the mac um fluid fix they call fluid fix yes <laughs> the mac um fluid fix fluid wait i don't know the mac one <laughs> i use the mac foundation on like regular days so today i'm going for that extra extra full face so that's my foundation of choice my neck is usually a bit darker than the rest of my face and my chest so i like to apply just a bit of the foundation as well down my neck so i'll just keep blending and make sure i'm blended as you can see look at that finish Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I love this foundation so now I'm just gonna finish doing the rest of my makeup and then I'll speak to you guys later ooh, ooh, ooh. gosh my makeup looks so nice today
see the light in your eyes I'm on the edge and I'm